By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how you can reveal a password that's typed into an input field directly inside of Bubble. So let's say if you have a user login page and someone types in a password but thinks they've made a mistake, instead of having to delete and retype that entire password, a user should be able to click a button and then view that password as plain text. At the end of the day, it's just gonna create a much better user experience for them. Now this isn't a native feature that Bubble supports within their password input. So there's gonna be a few steps throughout this process. Look, what I'm gonna do is hand this one over to Matt and he can explain everything you need to know. Hey guys, so today we are going to learn how to create a hide and reveal action for passwords in your Bubble signup page. So we're gonna go through some design settings, <clears throat> some plugins and the settings you'll need to add on the actual app itself, and then also some of the functionality in terms of states, workflows, and conditionals. So let's have a look at what we are gonna do. So let's say I go to my login page and I type the password. You can't actually see what is being shown. So now I'm gonna click this little eye icon over here, and now I can see the password that I've entered. And also we're gonna change that specific element to show the open eye. I click it back and then it hides the password again. Cool, so let's get started. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna delete this group. Boom. And now let's start with our items. So we need to create the container group, the password input, and then the icon. So I'm gonna go to the left and I'm gonna type group. I'm gonna drag it in under the email here. Just for a bit of styling, we're gonna to go to the top say 15 top margin and then we're going to add a border and we'll just make this 30 percent of that gray cool so now we have our container group so we're going to change the name to say uh, group password input container Awesome. Now we're going to go back to the left and we're going to add in an input. And now this input we are going to name input password. We can call it password one just so that we have a unique identifier for it. And then over here we're also going to go to this inputs border. We're going to remove the border just so it looks a little bit better. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this width over here and we're just going to uncheck that now we're going to go to the left again and we're going to look for icon so we're going to drag an icon into that group and now it pops up above so we're going to click on the main group itself and we're going to change it from a column to a row so let's click on the icon go next shift it down to the bottom we're going to change its color to a darker blue and now we're gonna to go to the icons and we can go to phosphor and now we're just gonna type I. Okay, so by default, when you set this up or when someone lands on the page, the I, the input is not going to be displayed or the password is not going to be displayed. So we're gonna click on this icon over here, which has the arrow or the line through the I. Cool, so now we have our basic design elements that we're going to use. Now we need to go look at the plugins and the settings. So we're going to go here. Let's go look at the settings. So we're going to go to the left hand tab. We're going to click settings. And now we're going to go to general. And normally when you click it, it scrolls to the top there. So we're going to go scroll all the way down. And we're going to look for this elements over here which says expose the option to add an id attribute to html elements and we're going to click yes cool so we have that there we have html ids so now we need to go and add in our plugin that we're going to use so we're going to go to the left click plugins add plugin and we're going to type reveal. 
and we are going to go and look at this reveal and hide password and we're going to install awesome so i have it in the page there but what we would do is go to the left here we can say reveal find this little element and we're just going to drag it into the page all right perfect so now we need to set up a state within this little group that says the password is hidden or the password isn't hidden so we're going to go to our container group i'm going to click on this eye icon <clears throat> and we say add a new custom state so the state name we're just going to call it hidden and the state type will be a yes or no default value hidden will be yes okay cool so now we are going to go and quickly create the workflow that either shows the element or the password or hides it so we want that to trigger when we click this icon over here so we're going to go to that icon we click add workflow so now when this is clicked we need to go to our element actions and we're going to look for something called toggle a reveal all right so now we have our one reveal item that we just added but now it's asking for an id so let's go back to the design page and we're going to find our input for the password and we are going to go and give it an id so we're going to click on input password scroll down to the bottom of appearance and over here it says id attribute so we're just going to call this password one now we're going to go control a control c just to copy it we go back to our workflow and in the id column we're going to press control v to paste it okay so now we have that now the next step that we need to do is we need to edit the state that we just created the hidden value of either yes or no so we're going to go to the top we're going to say set state and this was our container group password input container and we're going to set the state hidden and now we're going to change this to no cool so now we have our one state that will show the input of the password now all we're going to do is make sure that this only happens when the state is either yes or no and doesn't kind of go back and forth so over here at the top of this workflow in where we click the icon we're going to say only when our container group input the hidden is hidden is yes okay so these should be opposite over here and now we're going to go to this workflow we're going to say copy and paste now let's open that one up and now in this top area where it says hidden is yes we can change that to hidden is no and over here where we set the state we're going to change this to hidden is yes awesome so now let's go back to our elements over here and now when these states change from either yes or no when the password is either shown or invisible we want the icon to change with it so we're going to click on our icon and we're going to add a conditional when our uh, password input container is it's hidden is yes I make the icon this slash through i now he's going to go right click copy right click paste and we can say when it is no we're going to update the icon to a normal i 
Awesome. So now let's go have a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so here I have my password. Ah, so there is one setting we need to go and adjust. And that is on our input, we need to change the content, the content format to a password. And this will set it as those dots when you first load it. So let's refresh. And let me type my password. It isn't showing. Now I'm going to click my icon. There we go. I can now see my password. And this icon over here is now showing the open eye. Let's click it again to see if it hides it. Awesome. So there you go. That is how you can create a reveal and hide password input for your passwords. And also have a cool little indicator on the side that shows you whether it's hidden or whether it's not, and how to activate it. And just like that, you now know how you can reveal a password that's typed into an input field. Look, if you found this video useful and you wanted to stay up to date with any additional tutorials we share, I'd always recommend hitting that subscribe button on my channel, so that way you can be the first to know whenever we drop a new video. For now though, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for taking the time to watch this specific video today, and I wish you all of the best, on your own no-code journey.